Connor, how did the uh, combine go for you? It went well, you know. You're there for a while, so you spend a lot of time with the guys you're with, and you get to meet all these scouts and all the head coaches and all those guys you got to meet. It was a great experience. It was long, but I enjoyed it. What are you trying to show scouts? Uh, just I can play pretty much all positions on the O-line, you know. That's how you stay in the league a long time. You can't just play one position. Um, and, like, I've played one position at Baylor for a while, so I just want to show them I can play left tackle, right tackle. If we need a guard, I can play guard, you know. So that's kind of was my whole goal here. What are you hearing from scouts, coaches? What's, you know, what's, what's the projection for you, I guess? Sometime day three. I haven't heard anything specific. You know, you can, it's a wide range yeah. uh, day three, but we'll see when that time gets here. I don't really have a specific, like, set in stone thing I've heard. I've heard a bunch of stuff, but it's all on day three. Will that be difficult just to wait? I mean, it's not going to be fun to sit there and wait. you got to wait a long time, but I have no control over it now. I've done all I can do for the last five years and now, so it's not up to me anymore. Are there any teams that you've received a particular like, large amount of interest from that you've had more conversations with? Them? So, I mean, at the Senior Bowl and the Combine, you, like, you meet with a lot of the teams, and so a lot of guys like are just getting pulled to like, all different teams. So I've met with like 30 of the 32 teams. Um, so there's that, but like everybody at the combine and East, like the senior bowls, like do that. So I really don't, I've talked to a lot of people, so I don't really have anything specific. What's this whole process like? I'm sure it's a little bit overwhelming. Yeah, it's overwhelming, but you know, I've played with a lot of guys who've been through this process, you know, like Terrell, Petrie, JT, and the guys for the previous years I've been blessed to play with. So if I have a question, I've got all these coaches to help me. So. If I have a question, I can call any of the guys I play with, any of the coaches. So I really haven't been too overwhelmed, like for the combine and senior bowls, you know. So it's been a fun experience, it's been a lot, but I'm, it's been fun. What's their advice been like? Those guys you talk to. Yeah, you know, you just gotta like really know how to like be yourself, almost. Like you can't go to like those things and put up a front, because then they'll eventually find out that you lied or you did this or that. It's like just being yourself and being you. Like that's how you succeed in the NFL you can't just like put up a thing of what you think you are because they pretty much already know who you are so you can't like sit there and lie to them about this or that like they know so you got to go in there be yourself and just have self-confidence in yourself did you do some stuff today or? yeah I just did the whole line drills I did okay. I did all the stuff I wanted to accomplish uh, at the combine yeah. so I just did all line drills did the uh, coming back for a fifth year did that help you you think I feel like yeah, I was more tape on my resume. Um, like I played a lot of football here, um, and so that obviously speaks for itself. The combine will help you, pretty much whatever you do. But pretty much your tape like speaks for like your draft grade. So. Okay. Do you slim down a little bit? A little bit. I was done that. Yeah, I was 299 today. Okay. Uh, I feel, I'm feeling good, feeling loose. Um, a lot more range of motion stuff. Uh, I was a lot, a lot more stricter, way stricter of a food diet during training um <laughs> can't eat as bad so is that 15 20 pounds down or like five six pounds okay. maybe no that's no it's not bad sorry, sorry. No, it's, it's, not, it's not terrible what's it, what's been the toughest thing to cut out candy i'm a huge candy guy <laughs> so uh, it's almost I, I wouldn't touch it all so until after the combine I, I didn't didn't touch it one time it was hard it was rough but i accomplished that goal how'd it go for you today thank you uh, it went real good. Um, I feel like I tested really well and came out here. It was pretty smooth and drill work. Uh, Could have caught the ball a little bit better, but ball skills always something I'm working on. So, what do you feel like you need to show scouts? Um, just a little bit of my versatility. Kind of the past three years, I was kind of, you know, like a half field safety. That's pretty much what I did. So just showing that I could do more than playing deep. Showing that I could play a little bit close to the box, stuff like that, because that's where they're projecting me at. And, but just showing my versatility. Projecting so. you as a safety or yes. what? Yes, sir. Well, safety, outside linebacker, slot, whatever, is, yeah. is what kind of what I've been talking about. I, I know some of, I saw some of the things, but like in terms of your numbers or whatever, what, what kind of were you getting in, in that area? Like, yeah, I talked to some of my uh, coaches and then my trainer down here. Uh, shout out to my trainer, Austin Potter. He did an amazing job with my, with my um, pre-draft training and my trainer, Ja'Cory. So he did real good. But um, I talked to Coach Pallage, and he told me that 
Scouts got 446, 448, 450. Um, so I was happy with those numbers. My broad jump, 10, 11. I feel like I could have got a little bit high, uh, high, uh, better on that. And, uh, vertical, 40.5. And then uh, I'm not sure about the uh, the L drill and the 5105. But 40.5 is pretty good on the vertical. Yes, yeah, sir. That's pretty good. Yeah. What okay. did you do to prepare for today? Um, I just spent a lot of time, you know, six days a week with my trainer. Like I said, Austin Potter, best in the business down in Humble, Texas. Um, yeah, did that and uh, a lot of work, footwork and stuff with my trainer, Jacory, Jacory one way. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. Justin, what, what do you feel like you have to show scouts? Uh, I, play, I feel like I had to show the scouts I can run. Mm -hmm. I could lose the weight. Uh, I'm 20 pounds down from where I was at season, so. Feeling good. I think I ran very well today. Just been training hard, so I think the scouts saw what they needed to see. What What are you down to? I'm 285 right now. Okay. Did you get any? Did anybody tell you times or what? Uh, I just heard a few times of 488s and 49, so that's the range I wanted to be you at. Good at that size. I think it moves pretty well. Yeah. Did you overall? Did you feel like you had a good day? I feel like I had a great day. I mean, I've been. I mean, I've been out in Florida training for the last three months, training six days a week. Getting right, making sure everything was perfect for today, and I feel like I performed well. Jackson, uh, feel at home. Any yeah, <laughs> man, I'm blessed. I don't feel. I don't think many people get to do their pro days <laughs> at their home high school field. So, <laughs> yeah, I came here over the weekend, just got back used to it, and was remembering my stomping grounds. So. Did you have family here watching you? Yes, sir. I had, I had a lot of family come in town, and me being from Waco, it's, it was hard to tell people they couldn't come. It was only a limited number of guests. When you look back at this past season, you transfer to to Baylor. Have you kind of thought about how special that was that you got to finish your college career where you, you've grown up? Man, it was great. I got to I got to be around family. My grandpa was sick my last year at Tulsa, and he's still a little sick. But I got to be home more. I, my house is ten minutes away from the stadium. He got to come to my game, so I'm blessed to be here, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Jackson, I guess you might be considered a little undersized uh, your height you have, to sh you have to show scouts other things then i feel like my tape speaks for itself and uh, i was talking to some scouts earlier and i was telling them i don't think many guys in this year's draft or even in the previous draft have 35 plus tfls in their career and i did that so my tape speaks for itself that if they, i just need one team to take a chance on me there's 32 of them so do you feel confident about that like somebody will give you a chance i feel like it if they watch the tape i would if i was a scout i'd give me a chance was this indoor facility here when you when you played here? They built this at the end of my freshman year, so I got to use it for three years, and it was great. Do you have any great memories inside of here, something that sticks out? Uh, I got to sack my old quarterback a lot in here. He don't want to call it a sack, but it was definitely a sack. So I got to do him a little bit in here. He's at Wisconsin now. Who was that? Tanner Mordecai. Oh, yeah. Um, did, did other guys, knowing that you'd been in, these, in this indoor, I don't know if all indoors are the same, but did they ask, like, hey, how does it? Is it any different? Uh, they were a lot of guys came and trained earlier, came in on the weekend, got used to the field. Uh, Baylor's indoor isn't like this yet, but it's getting there. They're uh, redoing it now. So, I mean, Midway's blessed with this facility. It's one of the top facilities in the country, I think. So, I think they were grateful we got to do it indoors and not outside. Jack, I know you played a lot of nose. Are you doing anything else at the end, too? Uh, I could play all five. I played. Uh, I played all five my whole career. This year we had some injuries go down at Baylor, so I had to play. I had to play more nose than anything. But I think that just made my film even better, showing I can play all five positions. Have you gotten any jokes from some of the other guys seeing where you got to play high school football? Maybe? Yeah, they were like, they were saying uh, I got home field advantage, and uh, some of my times might be faster because it's my hometown. <laughs> but it's all love. <laughs> Spent so much time getting ready for today. What happens next? What do you do between now and the draft? Uh, now in the draft, I just continue to build, get stronger, stay in the weight room, stay lean. I'm going to have me a cheat day. I haven't had one in a long time. I'm going to have me a cheat day for sure. Uh, but just staying healthy and hopefully get it waiting on that call. Connor, what's the toughest thing to cut out with candy? What was it for you? Oh, man, what was it not is the question. Uh, <laughs> uh, fried food, home cooking because I wasn't at home, anything unhealthy pretty much. That was That's what I like, so. Yeah, it was a bunch of just meat, meat and vegetable diet, no, uh, no carbs. So, yeah. where are you going on your cheat day? Uh, I told my mom to shoot for ten thousand calories by the end of the day. So, <laughs> <laughs> everywhere, I can, I can budget a few pounds. I, I'll work it off tomorrow. Have you made up with your mom? Because like in fall camp, you, you told us that her cooking was good. 
Uh, she worked on her cooking, so she, <laughs> she made it up to me for sure. That's why I was heavy in the season for sure. Well, Gavin, what, what are you trying to show scouts in general? Just that I'm healthy. <laughs> uh, that was the biggest thing. Um, but just my speed, hands, kind of all that. Just kind of want to come out here and just um, showcase my abilities. So. In terms of numbers or testing, did you feel like you had a good day in that? In those yeah, terms too, I feel like or? I had a really good day. Yeah, I was very happy with my numbers. Um, just a testament of all the work I've been putting in. So. Did they tell you anything on your 40 time? 436. 436? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's so I was happy time. with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so imagine. I was pretty happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you're being looked at as a receiver, maybe special team too, because you showcased a lot of that, especially this last season. Yeah, yeah. So they, uh, the scouts came to me and they wanted me to go catch punts uh, for Isaac. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show them that's another thing I can do on the field. How would that feel with Charlie out here and uh, just throwing with him again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good, man. Just he was my quarterback when I came in, um, so we've been working together these past couple of days. Um, felt natural, so. I wasn't too worried about it. What about seeing RJ? Come yeah, that had to be yeah, cool that too. was cool. Just seeing all those guys, because like RJ said, we all came in together, um, and so we came together. Now we're leaving together, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, hey Mark, uh, what uh, what are you trying to show, scouts? Uh, yeah. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving thanks to God, because without Him, I wouldn't be here. But um, today I kind of want to show the scouts that um, you know, I'm a sound player. Uh, I got a little bit, of, I got some explosiveness in me, um, and I think. Not just me, but a lot of my guys came out and really executed that plan. Are they looking at you as a corner or safety or both? Or? Um, they're looking at me as a corner, but uh, I heard a couple teams asking me about, you know, free safety, if I could play that. And, um, a big special teams guy, because, you know, I really com I contributed big time special teams wise throughout my five years at Baylor. So it's a little bit of everything. Being versatile, it's got to be a plus for you, right? Have oh. You heard that? Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, being able to play multiple things, you know, definitely with special teams, it's like at the end of the day, you got your starters, you got your backups, and then the special team coach gets to pick, okay, who do we need for special teams, you know what I mean? So, because, you know, first round pick ain't finna go out there and, and be on four different teams, so who's gonna take that load off his legs? So being able to do that, you can come in and be a, like, you can add value to the team rookie season right off the bat. What's this whole experience been like for you? Uh, you know, it's been a blessing. Um, it's been really fun. You know, I got a lot of guys that, you know, have wasn't able to get where I'm at right now. So, you know, they're always hitting me up, keeping me motivated, letting me know, you know, at the snap of a finger, it could be all over. So it's kind of like taking it in, realizing you're blessed, having fun, and then going out and execute. Talking about executing and explosiveness, uh, hear anything about your four about your 40 times before you were around? Oh, man. Uh, when I came back, uh, the guys was telling me that th my first one, they heard 441. I didn't really get my second one, but I knew I could run faster after my first one because I stumbled. So I was like, okay, if it was a 441, and that next one better be like a 436, 439, something like that. <laughs> Is that kind of what you were hoping for, I mean, in terms of time or whatever? Or what, what was your goal coming in? Uh, my goals coming in, you know, I really wanted to get into the 4-3 range because I know I can do it. Um, past guys that have done it, guys out here that have done it, and I'm like, okay, I know I'm faster than them. Not knocking their speed or anything. I just know my awareness of myself. So it was like, if they can do it, I know I can do it. You know, I'm confident in myself. So it's like, it's just coming out here and getting that, that one rep to get what you want to get. Having Kaylin in the secondary for you, is that motivation? Having Yana, I'm sure having done drills with him and seen the number he put up last year. Oh yeah, for sure. You but like, you know, with Kalen, like, man, we came in together and I watched him do all the wrong things when it came to like sprint work and still run crazy times. And I'm a track guy, so I know once he got some coaching under him, it, he was going he was gonna run what he ran. So <laughs> so, you know, you I compare myself I compare myself to Kalen, but he's like special. He's like one of those special guys, but but knowing that I'm up there with him, it really did motivate me. And seeing that he's at the level that he's at right now and he's still there, it really motivated me a lot because I know I can get there with him. Have you talked to Jalen or JT about this process? Oh yeah, so JT actually came to um, he came to the NFLPA game and uh, watched me and I hung out with him, got to talk to him, 
um, a lot on the phone. And I actually got off the phone with Peachy, I want to say, two days ago. He hit me up last night. We had a little conversation. Um, so, you know, they're they, they still like big bros, even though they left. They, they come and drop some knowledge on me from time to time, which is a blessing. You know, what's your hope going through all this? Uh, are you thinking you might have a shot to get drafted? Is that kind of the hope? Oh, uh, yes, sir, for sure. Hope That's always the hope, 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 hope in the plan to get drafted. But, you know, it's, it's up to them at the end of the day. So hopefully I prove that. What do you feel like you've got to show scouts? Um, just my athletic ability and what, what I can do, what I can perform on the field. How did you feel like you did today? I feel like I did smooth other than, like, the mishap I had. But other than that, I feel like I was hitting my PRs. Did you have a mishap in the 40? Yes, sir. Okay. Khalil, as you leave Baylor, what's your biggest takeaway from, from playing here? Um, just at the end, it's a business, and, you know, you got to treat it as, as, that, as that, and um, you got to move accordingly. Are you? Uh, are they looking at you as a guard or a tackle, or does it matter? Or? I've heard both, but to me, it really don't matter. But in the NFL, you gotta you gotta play both: either right tackle, left tackle, right guard, left guard. So. How many teams have you talked to? Uh, I've talked to a few over the course of a couple of months. Uh, went to a bowl game, talked to at least 20 teams, and been in contact with a few going forth. What's your work been like leading up to today? Uh, just training, just trying to get faster, get stronger, and um, improve my like my athletic abilities. I would say. Where'd you do that? Uh, out in Austin at ROI. Mm -hmm. How many O line coaches did you have while you were here? I think about five. <laughs> <laughs> Had a couple of GAs, uh, Coach De Leon, Coach Mateos, Coach Bell, um, Coach Wickline. So it was a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> was there one that you took the most away from, or do you feel like you learned a lot from all of them? I feel like, well, I don't want to say Mate Coach Mateo was the best one, but uh, I feel like I learned the most this last two years just on the field and, um, and um, on, on the film, just learning so much. And I feel like I grew so much between those two years. So did you do some long snapping today? Too? I did, yes, sir, okay. yeah. Was that out there? Or? It was, yes, okay. out there. Yeah. Just trying to show all versatility I can. You know, I was a backup for three years okay. back at – back in my career and so I also ran routes just wanted to do everything I could and leave no regrets and no doubts on my ability. How, how, how do you split up the training for that in terms of what you train? How you, how you split up the it's just a matter of putting the work in every every day you gotta do at least something so there's really no almost no days off to try to rest or rest and recover on like the weekends but you gotta do at least something whether it's some pass rush some run drills some routes some just you just got to do it every day and just be committed to it. Yeah. Uh, you have pretty good hands. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it. I wish I caught a couple more balls. Uh, uh, Charlie put one on me I really should have had. Yeah. But, you know, I actually played receiver growing up. Oh. And so okay. I was uh, glad to have a little bit of that skill left and bring it out today and see what can happen. What kind of feedback or did you get feedback from coaches, scouts? Uh, a lot of good, good thoughts on versatility and moving well. So I lost a little bit of weight in order to move a bit better. So I'm proud about that. I felt like I think I did really well in the D-line drills, especially kind of been in the edge. So just hoping I can show those skills, especially when playing a lot of four eye and inside during my career at Baylor. As you talk about in terms of that versatility, is there some, something they said in terms of position they're looking at you the most at or just a little bit of everything? You read the question. I missed the oh, first part. Okay. Sorry. You talked about that versatility in terms of where teams have talked to you about you can play here or here or here. Is there is there one position where they talk the most about drafting you or just picking you up at? Uh, not a lot. Uh, mainly D line or fullback. Um, so that was the. I got a little bit of feedback of maybe looking at fullback. So that's why I was worth enough to try to do it today. Um, but it's the same thing I did when I first walked on. I was like, look, I can play anywhere you need me. I can do my job. I'm gonna give everything I got, and that's just. That's just what we're keeping through our entire career, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Say, was it beneficial that you had to have that kind of mindset when you came on? I believe so. It really helped me open my mind to just being open to any role I could take, uh, especially 2019, got to be on the punch field and actually play as a walk-on for the first time back then. So it was having that open mind and not being set to a certain position is what helped me give me an opportunity to even be here today. How did you feel like it went today? Oh, yeah, it was good. It was a lot of fun. You know, hadn't got a lot of time to be around the team and whatnot, so... It was cool to be back and, you know, get one last Indian with my teammates and whatnot. I think I did well. What do you have to show scouts, do you think? Uh, you know, I want to show that I was explosive, that I can do drills well, and that, you know, reliable and whatnot. I talked to a couple of people, and it went really well, you know. 
you have a good handle on what they want to see on a day like today, or is it just getting here and then figuring that out? I think for D linemen, I think they want to see how explosive you are, change in direction and stuff like that. That would be my guess, and you know, just from watching other people's pro days and watching the combine from home, kind of seems that like that's what they emphasize. So uh, is it stuff like the shuttle then, three cone drill, are those more important for you guys? Yeah, and I would say probably like for explosiveness, like vert broad, stuff like that. And I think, and then also the D line drills himself. Yeah. Are they looking at you as a tackle or an end or both? Or? Hey, <laughs> I'll play every day. <laughs> everything on the D line, whether it's edge, interior, nose, I play it all. Because I played it all my time time here. I played so many positions. Yeah. Did you guys give Jackson kind of a hard time getting to do this in his, his home field, basically? <laughs> Man, I think I was the first one to hit him up saying like, man, like you must have paid somebody or something. <laughs> it's like this is, you were probably the one who complained about, because uh, I think previously it was supposed to be at McLean. And I think I was like, you must have been the first one to hit him up and say, hey, let's do this back up, you know. So, hey, I'm happy for him. Do you think it's pretty cool that he gets the, his last test before the NFL happens where he oh. went to high school? Oh, yeah. I mean, how, how many people get to really do their pro day at, at their high school field <laughs> and whatnot or a place they've been their entire, lived their entire life pretty much, you know. So. I'm pretty sure he's happy about that. I'm happy for him. How did you feel like things went today? I feel like things went well, man. You know, first of all, glory and honor to God. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to be out here with these guys that I came in with. You know, I came in with Mark Milton, Christian Morgan, uh, JT Woods, Boogie. So, you know, to be able to finish the job that we came in with the understanding to have, it was, it's a great opportunity. So just great, glad to be out here with these guys uh, in front of these scouts, really just trying to put on and show the athleticism and the things that we can do. Do you feel like you did what you needed to do today? Honestly, I did. And if I can be just completely honest and vulnerable with you, I really had second guesses on doing pro day. Mm -hmm. You know, things didn't in the past go the way that I personally wanted them to go. And I'm just like, man, you know, hey, what's what's the sense in trying to do it? And then, you know, I was praying about it and really just wrestling with it. I said, man, I want to go ahead and go out and finish the job that I came in with my guys to do. You know, we all came in 2018 with the expectation of, hey, like, we're going to finish this thing together. Like, if you go to the league in three years, you just go to the league. We finish together. But if we come here four or five years, whatever the case is, is, let's finish together. So I, I was I was glad to be out here with these guys. I felt like I did everything that I needed to do today. And uh, you know, hopefully I turned some eyes for these scouts and the things that they were looking for. Did you run well? Did you feel like you ran? I feel like I ran well, honestly. You know, uh doing the training and everything like that, I'm like, B, hey, if we can get our first six, seven steps to the ten yard line, everything else will be money for us. So, you know, came out, felt very explosive, felt like my legs were under me and uh felt like I ran pretty well, jumped well as well. Would you get in terms of if I can be honest with you, I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything. Uh, I didn't have a scout or a, not a scout. I didn't have an agent out here. So a lot of guys that heard times, you know, their agents were kind of around in the pit, kind of hearing some numbers being passed around. So I didn't hear any numbers, but hopefully I can hear some numbers here in a second because I, I am anxious to know. AJ, what do you think your path to playing more football might look like? Um, honestly, if I can be honest with you, I see myself being free agency somewhere within the XFL, USFL, uh, simply just based off of me not having just a whole bunch of tape, but having a lot of special team reps between the jammer, the flyer, kickoff, some kick return. So uh, definitely be able to be a big attribute there. Uh, I see myself within there and, you know, the next season that comes around dealing with XFL or USFL, man, I'll be glad to take an opportunity anywhere. I won't turn aside any opportunity at all to be able to show the gift that God has given me. Arena bar. I wouldn't even mind doing arena ball. <laughs> hey, it's, it's an opportunity to be able to just, yeah. And you know, I, this this to me is it's, it's all ministry, honestly. You know, you get a, a chance to be on a platform like this for young guys out there that need inspiration, that need a platform, that need someone to look to just for guidance and leadership. And I feel like I have that platform to be able to show and pass that message, just of just words of encouragement, of wisdom, of inspiration to anybody, the masses. It doesn't matter what color, what creed, what ethnicity, whatever the case may be. Feel like you can do that now? Feel like you can do that <laughs> yeah, it do. I had fun, that was a blast, man. Can't lie, it was, I had a blast, for real. Um, coach was nice, uh, great set up, everything. Yeah. What? Uh, where do you feel like you've got to show the scouts? Um, I want to. I want to put on tape like me finishing and everything. I hope I put that forward. Put my best foot forward for sure. Um, another thing I want to work on is my start off the ball, getting fast off the ball. So that's one thing I want to show. How much? How, how many scouts? That kind of thing, or who? You know, who's shown the most interest? Um, I talked to the Vikings a little bit. Uh, they gotta. They want me to stick around. We can talk about it. I don't know what we're gonna go over. Probably like some board work or something. Um, but 
pretty much the Vikings right now. How do you feel like you did in terms of whether it's the 40, you know, vertical? What? How did you feel like you did today? Um, no, I felt good. I feel very confident coming in too, uh, just because the training we put in for the last three months and it's been great. So I was super confident coming in. I felt like I did everything I was supposed to do. You feel a lot of pressure today, like big job interview. Uh, not really. I mean, you kind of like they've been doing the pro days and stuff for a long time, so you kind of know what years they're gonna put you through. Um, so not really. I didn't feel a lot of pressure. Kind of like. Butterfly, but not like about the. It was just like, oh snap! It's a lot of new faces I haven't seen. So, what'd you what'd you do on the bench? Um, I hit 20, 22 reps. Uh, I was on the twenty third, but I couldn't lock it all the way out. So, yeah. who hey. won that one of your offensive line? Uh, I want to say Khalil. He put up twenty six. Okay. So that was pretty crazy. I knew he was strong though. So, <laughs> there's no shock. How much do you lift there when you do the bench? Um, on bench press, probably about like 465 is the most I ever put up, okay. single rep. And the reps, it's like 225. Yeah, 225. 225. Well, what's it like to be back? You know, it feels good to be back, especially having Charlie throwing a pro day. It's like <laughs> old times. You know, that was my roommate, so uh -huh. it was a great way to end it, you know, in my career back at Baylor, so it was great. Yeah. Ben, said he, ben said he felt like he had a little more zip on his ball. Oh, he did. So uh, about two months ago, I started training with Charlie, just running around on the weekend. I said, bro, who are you? <laughs> I was like, okay, but it was good. It was good. Yeah. Where were you training, RJ? I was training in Houston. Okay. But uh, he was training up in Austin, so right. I'll just drive down on the weekends yeah. and run routes with him, yeah. and it was good. How many years were y'all roommates? From from 18 to he left, so four years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Four years. What What are you trying to show scouts? Just that I'm the same receiver you see on film. I can catch the ball. I can get open. All stuff that's on film, you know. Today we just put a cement to what I did over the last six years. So I just want to scout that I'm a consistent receiver. Did you feel like you did good in the other testing and stuff? Did you have a good day in that area? Yeah, I feel like I did great. Uh, it started off good because I had 11 on bench. Didn't do that at all during testing. Had a 10 broad. So it was just good. It started off good. I feel like it was going good throughout the day. So I feel like I had a good day overall. Okay, what was the process like in asking, you know, Coach Rand if you'd come back in? Part of pro day or so, funny story. You might not know my mama, but I didn't do it. My mom did it, oh. and uh, it was good. Though I'm glad that he said yes and allowed me to come back, cause like it was nice running routes with Charlie and Gavin. I was Gavin's first roommate when he came here, so it was just good. Like the whole band back together, so it felt good. Seem odd doing it in here at all, or was that was the only thing that was yeah, odd, yeah. you know. <laughs> but uh, I think Bailey did as good as they could to make it seem like we were back at the indoor, right. which was nice feeling. But at the same time, though, you know, it still worked regardless of where we're at. Okay. We still the work still had to be done, and I'm glad that we're finished now. You've been through a few of these, or watched a few of them. Um, did that help you any in terms of getting ready for this? It did because uh, after 2018, Jalen McClendon had. Did a pro day in 19 that spring, and uh, I ran routes. Okay. So I felt like Coach Rule helped me out a lot mm -hmm. by having me do routes in front of scouts right. and just like so, you know. The same time, the same thing though. Just routes on the air is what, mm -hmm. what you do every day, but in front of scouts, you know, it's kind of different because it's a big day and everything's amped up. But I think doing it in 2019 with Jalen helped me out a lot. Have you gotten a call or text Taekwon about this process? Maybe you tapped in a little bit. Uh, I haven't talked Taekwon about a few months, but Denzel Mims is my best friend. And he's here today. Uh, he came down for me. So uh, he's been helping me out through the process and just telling me to take it day by day and don't worry about the future because we have no control over it. But yeah, no, Denzel Millen's been helping me out a lot. Have you gotten much feedback from teams? Like what are those, those kind of conversations? It was just more like uh, they've seen everything they need to see on film, you know, especially since I've been, I started since 2019. So I helped out a lot. I got a lot of years of film out there. So they're just saying like, be consistent today. That's all, catch the ball, nothing crazy. Uh, what do you feel like you showed today? Um, today, I feel like I showed that I can. I have a really strong leg and that even if I don't hit a clean ball, it's still going to hang in the air for a long time. Um, being that I'm very a flexible guy, as weird yeah. as that sounds, uh, being that I'm so flexible, I'm able to get the ball up in the air more, I feel like. So today with the wind at my back, uh, didn't turn over as many balls as I would like to, but even the miss hits I had with the wind, I could still hang it up there, which is really good to show. And then going into the wind, um, had uh, a few not clean balls, but 
I felt that the clean balls were very good and pierced through the air really well. So I felt really good going both ways because obviously as a punter, you don't want to let wind affect you that much. So I tried to show that no matter wind at my back or wind forward, I could do either or for a team. Did you do kickoffs too? Right? Yes, I did do kickoffs. Um, I was doing them for the team in the fall. I was behind Noah Rauschenberg. And so I um, just want to be able to show teams that I could do uh, kickoffs as well as uh, punting. Because a lot of punters. Yeah. Do that, right? mm -hmm. like yeah. Um, yeah. I guess since we're just the stronger of the specialists, right. that we just do that. No. Um, yeah. I just want to show I can do whatever team needs me to do. Do your scouts, uh, as far as your position, do mm -hmm. they go much on film, or is it just what they see when they're you're actually out there? Um, I'm guessing a bit of both. Of you, uh, if I were in a scout shoes, I would listen for the sound of the ball. Mm -hmm. If it makes that big thud, you look for it on a kickoff, uh, field goal, or punt. If you hear that sound, then you know the guy striking the ball well. Okay. Whereas if you're watching film and game film, then you're not going to really hear that sound. You're going to see the result, but you're not going to be like, oh, that's a punt right there, or that's a big kickoff. So I guess being out here, being able to see me and hear that sound is something that they wanted to get at. What was the benefit of coming back for that fifth year and you know just maybe putting more on tape mm -hmm. for those scouts? Um, I, it was a lot more as much fun as it was to play again. And I don't know if it was so much so for the scouts, but I just kind of want to be a part of this group of guys again. Um, I've spent five years with a lot of these guys. Our class, we had we had 19 guys participating, me tw uh, 20 actually. And I've been with these guys for five years. A few went, came back. And so just the brotherhood and the culture that uh, Rule and Aranda built here just really brought us all together. And so it wasn't, wasn't so much so I don't want to go to the NFL last year. It was more so I want to be with these guys again next year and have more fun and hopefully win more championships, which unfortunately we didn't. But it was still a great year to be around the guys again. And then right now, kind of almost on the tail end of everything, mm -hmm. capping off your career at Baylor, is, right. it, is it bittersweet? Uh, today, just kind of saying, all right, this is it. Yeah, um, it's weird, it's surreal. I, uh, I was, I would go and train at the facilities, and I would see the guys, you know, I was just with a couple months ago, and you feel so distant already. But, um, I mean, to cap it all off, you know, my time in college, it's weird that it's come to an end, even though I have another year of eligibility that I'm not taking. But, yeah, it is bittersweet coming full circle, coming here as a we little freshmen to now, I feel like a man. I'm married now. So, yeah, I definitely grew up in five years <laughs> quick. How would you feel like it went for you today? I feel like it went good. Um, maybe not my best day. I went perfect. Missed a couple over 50. Um, but I showed that, you know, I have the leg for that because I feel like that was my question was that, you know, he's, you know, I'm really accurate, but I don't have the, that 55, 60-yard leg. And I had the leg on a, uh, on a couple of those. Just missed him. Just, just left. But, um, yeah, I felt really good. I made him all 50 and in. And then uh, I think I showed, had some good kickoffs too in the end zone, even though I don't really have that on film from uh, school because Noah did it um, on the team. But showed that today that I can do it in front of the scouts. So it's good, good to see some uh, some balls uh, on kickoff going in the end zone. Was it weird uh, not only having to kick it to the uprights, but also avoid cars out there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried. I tried to block out the cars. I'm, I, I'm just glad no one parked directly right behind. They had made like a little tunnel between the you know the cars were here and here, and the uprights were here, were in the middle. So, um, so there were cars weird. right beyond the goalposts. No, they were like to the side. Like the, the side, like the uprights okay. were here, and the cars were like lined yeah. up here, lined okay. up here. But yeah, I was. Didn't set off any car alarms. Or anything? No, I did not. That was a yeah. I, I, that was a goal if I set off for a day. Once I saw the cars, and I accomplished that, so that was good. I was gonna say, I, really, I feel like you really caught someone's attention there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> set off the alarm. Did you kick off? You said you kicked off too. How did that go? I think it went well. Um, obviously, I don't, like I said, I don't, have, I don't have film on that like I do field goals. Um, but uh, I feel like I showed I got, I have good range. Um, can drive the ball deep. Uh, a couple, I think, had 4 -0 hang time and mm -hmm. went uh, in the three to five plus yards deep in the end zone. So I feel like I showed that I can have some value on kickoff as well as on field goals. Is your hope just to get invited to a camp? Is that kind of a hope? Or what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be, it'd be a, you know, Seventh round draft pick, undrafted free agent, you get a rookie mini camp invite or something like that would be would be awesome.